I've got a brilliant recipe, perfect for this time of year, celebrating sweet potatoes, which is a fantastic veg, accessible, really affordable. Potatoes don't count as one of your five fruit and veg a day, sweet potatoes do. So instead of just baking them, I'm gonna give you a recipe for the most delicious sweet potato rosti. They're crispy, they're gorgeous looking, they taste so good. I'm gonna show you how to make it in a waffle maker and in a conventional pan. So there's loads and loads of options to turn that into the most delicious, crispy, rusty, so good. First up, we're gonna grate 400 grams of sweet potatoes. By leaving the skin on, there's a lot of nutrition in the skin and flavor. Look at the color. Get the sweet potato into a bowl. Now, if you wanted to put some potato, carrots, other root vegetables and mix it up, of course you can. Get yourself some nice sea salt and pepper as well. And then one egg, and then 150 grams of self-raising flour. Now this is actually gluten-free, but you can use, of course, normal flour as well. So self-raising will give you that kind of lightness, that fluffiness, which is really, really good. And then I'm gonna have just a little bit of mixed seeds that you can get in packets. So just a little tablespoon goes in. And this is a brilliant way to get more of the good stuff into your diet and mix it all up. The flour will draw the residual water out of the sweet potato and you'll kind of create kind of like a cross between a dough and a batter. Don't be afraid to really get your hands in, clean of course. Press it out, that's done, it's that simple. And then roughly cut it into four. Put it into a little ball like that. What I love about this recipe, it transforms your everyday sweet potato into something completely unexpected. Once you've done that, I got here a waffle maker, something that I love, genuinely. My kids go wild for it, and we always think breakfast or brunch, and certainly mine's out every weekend, right? But you don't just have to do sweet things, you can do savory things as well. I've also got a frying pan here on a medium low heat. So let me show you best way to do these beautiful little rusty fritters, they're so good. Just grate some cheese onto this waffle maker, take this, ball here and here and just press it down. Push it out to the edges and this is gonna give you a golden, gorgeous, crispy, wonderful waffle. And also, you can put a little cheese on top. Beautiful things, beautiful things are gonna happen. First method of cooking these incredible sweet potato waffles happening, right? In a pan here, add a little oil, shape that into a nice patty shape and if you've got vegetarians, this is a great little kind of burger. If you've got smaller kids, you can divide this into two and do smaller ones. And the reason I'm showing you this is just to show you how incredibly flexible these beautiful rosties are. So we'll cook those until golden on both sides. And we've got the waffle style rosties happening over there. It smells amazing. The cheese is doing great things here. I'll add the cheese a little bit later here. Let me just do a very simple little salad just to go with this and complete the meal and make it something really, really delicious. So gem lettuce, uh, a cucumber, really, really nice. One tablespoon of olive oil, ideally. Then I'm gonna put in half as much red wine vinegar, but you could use white wine vinegar. You could use lemon juice if you wish. Look at that, beautiful, right? So seasoning. So we've got our little classic simple dressing there. Let's have a little check of our sweet potatoes here. Turn it over. Look at that, sizzling away. Then the smaller ones, sizzling away as well. Look at that, so gorgeous. Just use a little fish slice to push it down. While that does its thing, because we've made this lovely but simple dressing here, right, I'm gonna take a fork and I'm gonna scratch it down the length of the cucumber is to take on more flavor. So look at that, beautiful, look at the shapes. Just toss it in that dressing. Those little scratches, those little lines are gonna suck in more of that flavor. Really, really nice. Now, gem lettuce, right? Some people think it's sort of standard and boring. Cut it just about an inch past the stalk here, like that. The top half here, right, I just unclick, like little cups, love it. Then the stalk, don't throw that away. If you just put it on its side like that and just use a bit of knife skills, Look how beautiful that is. I'm just gonna leave the salad leaves on top and dress it at the very last minute so it's crunchy and gorgeous and delicious because dressing almost starts to cook salad leaves. So always do it at the last minute. So let's have a little look here. <laughs> the cheese has gone kind of crispy around the edges. I love that. So that's nearly there. But these are looking pretty good. They've had about three and a half, four minutes on each side. 
You know, we're looking at about sort of eight to 10 minutes to cook these nicely. Um, what I want to do now is push them to one side and then I'm going to grate the cheese and then pick up this lovely rosti and put it on top. More cheese, rosti goes on top like that. And kids absolutely love this. So just a couple of minutes to get that cheese golden and crisp and it will just be beautiful. Let's dress the salad. Um, what I'm gonna add to this to make it even more delicious, like just a little shake of seeds like that. It's sunflower seeds, sesame seeds. You get a crunch, you get a nuttiness, it's really delicious. Just this ability to get more of the good stuff into the cooking is lovely and it will taste fantastic. So look, let's plate up one of these waffles. Let's have a look, because this is very exciting. Look at that. <laughs> Golden and crisp. As it cools down, it gets crisper and crisper. And let's just load it up with a lovely wodge of salad. So for me, bringing this together as a dish, cottage cheese is something that I have got into in the last few years. It's really affordable, it's delicious. You can kind of do different things with it. You can kind of fold like herbs and lemon juice and olive oils, chili sauces through it, really nice. Literally put a little pinch of the seeds on top, chili sauce, because the chili sauce and the cold, creamy, tangy cheese is really, really nice with the sweet potato is so good. Absolutely beautiful. So these are looking really good. It's like a little spider's web of cheesy gorgeousness. Look at that. Right, you can see how they're just crispy, sizzling, golden. Look how crispy that is. So what I'm trying to give you here is options. Whether it's a small patty like this, super crispy, like a bigger patty that you could put in a bun, absolutely delicious. You know, you've got the waffle there, look at that. And you could have that for brunch, lunch, a nice little supper. What I love about this recipe is it's one of your five fruit and veg a day. It's very flexible. You know, you can spice it and flavor it in different ways. You can shape it in different ways. You can cook it in different vessels. But I love the way you can make something really surprising and delicious out of the everyday sweet potato. How good is that? It looks cool, right? Time to have a little try. Let's get in there. Bit of that chili sauce. Mmm. That is really, really good. That is so nutty and sweet, but the outside is super crisp. I love that. Absolutely delicious. Mmm. Look, we started from a humble sweet potato and we've turned it into something really surprising, really delicious, full of the good stuff. And sweet potatoes are really affordable. So look guys, what are you waiting for? If you want to get this recipe and have a go, or if you want more inspiration, hints and tips, go to tescorealfood.com.